so I'm back. Anyways I learned a thing or two when I was away, like tips and tricks for video games. For my first episode I'll talk about Minecraft. When you build a house do you? A. Build it in the open. B. Build it next to something. If you picked. A. Then you are wrong. When you make a house you want to know where to find it when you get lost in a forest or just got out of mining for a long time. And the way you find your house is by just building it to a place you could locate easily. Or you can have a beacon to it. But say that you find a very unique mountain or village and don't build next to it. You could lose your house or the village. But when you do build next or in the unique place you have to think because if you build in it, it might be dangerous. For the village there will be pillagers spawning near you and if you kill them then there will be a raid. For the mountain there won't be that kind of level of danger but there might be caves you could get lost in. Or even better you can find a mob spawner. Which leads me to the next thing. When you do find a mob spawner whatever you do, do not destroy it. Sure you get XP but not as much as what you can get with the mob farm. When it's a spider spawner there's potions for the eyes and string for wool. And with the wool you can trade it for emeralds with a villager. For skeletons there are armor, bows, and arrows. With the bows and armor you could smelt it and or use it on the grindstone. Cave spiders has some of the most amount of XP and you can trap them with something like this. Zombies are very useful because they can turn into drowned. And you might not know this but if the zombie is holding or wearing something you can turn them into a drowned and they will drop anything they had without anything being left behind. So any gold or iron items will be dropped and you can smelt or use the grindstone on them. And besides you can get extra they can hold gold ingots, fishing rods, tridents, and nautilus shells. Maybe even more if you are lucky. But with the silverfish spawner they are just useless. The last tip is for fishing. If you fish you can get bamboo, cocoa beans, bowls, fishing rods, leather, leather boots, sticks, string, bottles, bones, ink sacks, tripwire hooks, fish, bows, enchantments, name tags, saddles, and lily pads. Depending on where you are. When fishing for long enough you can get tools with enchantments, either good or bad. You can use them on the grindstone or for other things. I hope you found this helpful and good luck with your future gaming.